Okay, so in this problem they give us a function y equals c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x. And they tell us that this is a two-parameter family of solutions to this differential equation. So basically, if you were to solve this differential equation, you would get uh, this answer. Then it tells us to find a solution of the second order initial value problem consisting of this to E and these initial conditions. So this differential equation together with these two conditions is called an initial value problem. So to find a solution to it, basically we just have to use these two conditions and find the values of C. So they've already done the work for us. They've already taken this differential equation and they've solved it. And this is pretty much the answer. So now we just have to use these two conditions to find the C's. Before we do that, let's go ahead and take the derivative. So y prime, well, the C1 is a constant, so it hangs out. And the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Here, when you take the derivative of e to the negative x, you'll get e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside. So you'll get c2 e to the negative x times negative 1, which is the derivative of negative x. So y prime is equal to c1 e to the x minus c2 e to the negative x. All right, let's use our conditions. I'm going to go ahead and write them down here so we have them. So y of 0 equals 1, and y prime of 0 equals 5. So let's use our first condition. So y of 0 equals 1. So when we use this condition, we have to look at this one here. So it would be c1 e to the 0 plus c2 e to the negative 0, so just e to the 0 again, and this is equal to 1. Well, we're using this condition here on this piece up here. e to the 0 is 1, so we just get c1 plus c2 equal to 1. Let's go ahead and use our other condition. So y prime of 0 equals, so now we're looking at the derivative, so it'll be c1 e to the 0 minus c2 e to the negative 0, which again is just 0, except this time it's equal to 5. So it gives us c1 minus c2 equals 5. So we have two equations with two variables. Let me go ahead and write them over here. We have c1 plus c2 equals 1, and c1 minus c2 equals 5. So an easy way to do this is just add them up. So add c1 plus c1 is 2c1. Adding these, we get 0. And adding these, we get 6. So 2c1 equals 6. Dividing by 2 gives us c1 equals 3. So success. I'll put that in a box. Now that we have this, we can plug it in here. So we get 3 plus c2 equals 1. So c2 equals negative 2. So now that you have your c's, all you have to do is plug them back into your original value of y. So let me write it again so you see it. So y it was given in the problem. It was c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x. So now we simply replace the numbers, the constants with the numbers. So this is 3 e to the x minus 2 e to the negative x, because c1 was 3 and c2 was negative 2. So then you would just go in here and you would type it in. So it would be 3 e to the x minus 2 e to the negative x. And that's it.